Right, this is Oleg with OpenBOM, and today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration how uh, a new OpenBOM user experience of Bill of Materials editing will allow you seamlessly to edit information in the product structure. So we have a Bill of Materials that I make now for skateboard, and you have items coming from catalog, so some information of item in the catalog, some information in the BOM, so how we can edit it in the same grid. In the past, it was quite difficult, and you should have been going to item, to catalog, edit this information, and bring it to the bomb. Not anymore. A new experience will allow you to do it in a seamless way. So let's add one more item now, and that's going to be an item for the axle in this assembly. So let me grab an image of the axle. Don't use somebody else's images. This is just for demo purposes. So, and I can copy-paste this information directly. In this bomb, but the information is added to the item in a catalog. So the same is happening with the description. So Axel, I'm typing, and that's coming to the catalog, and everything is combined together. But your experience is absolutely seamless. So I have uh, one Axel, and then a cost of the Axel. So as you can see, information edited in a catalog and in a bomb seamlessly. Now let's uh, show you. Uh, how we can restructure this information also seamlessly. So let's take this assembly up a little bit, and now let's restructure this data. So this axle and wheel will be coming sub-items of this assembly. So quick click on the uh, move item to level below, and we create an assembly and move another one to item below. And as you can see, everything created seamlessly. Now, if I will add another item, let's say I want to add a screw to both levels because I need screws in this assembly and I need screw in the uh, in the in, in in the skateboard uh, axle assembly. So let's add another item. So let's add item which will be a screw. Let's take this item part number. Let's say that's gonna be a screw. Oh, I made a mistake. So I can retype it, and I will need uh, five screws for the uh, skateboard. Uh, but then I will need to use it one more time. So let's go and uh, find a screw that I can use. So let's take this screw, and I just copy this image and put it back. So in this, uh, now I'm getting item, screw item. Great, and my screw cost will be 40 cents. So seamless editing. As you can see, this is screw, it's a five screws on the uh, uh, assembly um, uh, skateboard level. But now I need this screw also on the sub-assembly. So I can insert item below. And now everything that I need is just to type this part number. So the moment of time I did it, all information... Oh, I made a mistake. It's one more zero there. The all information is coming. And everything I need is only to put a quantity. So the beauty of OpenBOM, we edit it in one place now. So the absolutely seamless experience of editing below materials. And of course, now I can switch to the uh, flatten and we will see a total number of screws. So far, that was a new user experience in OpenBOM and I hope you will like it very much. And I will see you in the next videos.